What is up you guys, Joseph here, back again with another Hot Wheels Monster Truck review, and today we are reviewing Hot Wheels Racing number 3. This it, it. Wait, this isn't part of any series. Let me check my car real quick. No, no, it doesn't say anything. Oh. No, it doesn't say anything there, it's just blank. The only thing it says is die cast metal body, so yeah. So it's not part of any series, so yeah. And you, you Oh where did I put the card? Oh crap. Sorry about that, I dropped up the card. So here it is before I lose it again. So so this is the back of it, you got steer clear, zombie rags, chassis snapper, torque terror, fire starter, and hot wheels racing. So I so I pretty much completed this bottom half. Spoiler. Er, I just gave, gave away my next review for those that don't follow me on Instagram. But screw it. Let me, let me show you one that I already drew on. So I completed the bottom half. I'll, I just need these three. So I found these out at Walmart in Fulton, Missouri. They had all of these except Chassis Snapper. I'm still on the lookout for that one. I want to get that one because I I, I like the Titan body. I think it's cool. Then all he would need is Zombie Rex and Steer Clear, and this case would be complete. And before I forget, I almost did. We gotta read the stats because screw you, it's my video. So truck type is pickup. His strengths is to always go big. His crash attack is big time bash. And his motivation is to break every record. It's not the same as Hot Wheels Racing number one. His motivation is to crash fast and crash first. Alright. So, oh, here's the thing that it comes with. Hot Wheels Racing logo. And, uh, yeah. That's it. So, here's the car. It's just a basic blue car. And, and one thing I see up about it is, or thought about it is, it looks like, um, what's the name of that hot, it's, it's an off-road one, ugh, what is the name of it, I do own it, uh, oh jeez, what is the name of that, you know, hold on one second, okay, I found it, and I found the name, it, it's Dogzilla, this car, this crush car looks exactly like Dogzilla, I mean, See the resemblance? Yeah. Yeah, so they're turning other Hot Wheels cars into crush cars. The ones that don't get turned into monster trucks get turned into crush cars. Like, I don't know what this one's based off of. I don't think it's based off of anything, but if it is, then... Yeah. So there you go. This crush car looks like a Dogzilla. Alright. Alright, now here's the truck. So, oh, as you can see, it's got a dark gray roll cage. It's a black Hot Wheels tires and chrome hubs. I think I might have said BKT in the previous video. Oh, well. <laughs> so, oh, it's got the chrome hubs, same as Roger Dodger. Looks good on this. I never did find the second Hot Wheels Monster Trucks case. You know, you know which one I'm talking about. Never, that never came into stores. Although I did find those the two packs, you know, like, but I didn't find Loco Punk and Pure Muscle. I, I still haven't found that. Never did find that case, so I'm hoping that I'll get lucky someday. I'll be going out again tomorrow. So yeah, you know, but enough about that crap. I'm sorry. All right, yeah, so we're gonna zoom in here. All right, so you got the Monster Trucks logo in the back. With the Hot Wheels logo right on the side, Hot Wheels Racing. Then you got out of the yellow stripe on the bottom with some red stripes going along. With that's the right white stripe on the bottom, and another one going along all the way to the back, along a yellow line and a red line. Then you got the number three because this is Hot Wheels number three. I don't know why they're taking their time releasing number two. Although they did do it in the rev treads that nobody cares about. Nobody cares about those, it seems like. But they skipped over to number three in the 164 scale line, which is weird. But oh well. And, uh, uh, yeah. 
So then on the hood, you got the Hot Wheels Racing logo with with the number three. He and got the yellow line with a white and red line in the middle. Goes all the way to the roof. So there's the roof. And then on the tailgate, you got Hot Wheels Racing and with the red with the red, white, and yellow line. The number three next to it. Then on the driver's side, it's all the same. You got the number three, Hot Wheels Racing. Da -da 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 -da. So yeah. So oh, I want. Wonder if they're gonna do a Hot Wheels Racing number four because if they do that, it's just, it's just a prediction, and this is, this is just what I what I want them to do. They should do ooh, Hot Wheels Racing number four with this this casting. They should do it with this body. You know that that would be awesome. I don't know if Feld would allow that. I certainly hope so. They could reuse this casting for Hot Wheels Racing number four. That would be awesome. And something just fell off my AP desk. That was the other truck I was going to review. But anyway, that that would be awesome if they did that. I sure hope so, but if they don't, then oh well. That's such a nice casting though. But, that's, um, overall this is a very nice truck. Go, go pick it up if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah. So yeah, this thing is kind of hard to put O's on because you got this thing in the way, knocking it off. So you, well there, there I got it. All right, so that'll wrap up this review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next review. Peace out. Okay, thanks for watching, Joseph. Hope you enjoyed it.